Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventure. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I've got a Trader Joe's beer. This is the Boat Swain Chocolate Stout. Love me some chocolate stouts. So here's the thing. I had a bunch of people saying, hey, have you done the Trader Joe's beers? And I went, no. So I went to Trader Joe's and bought a bunch of singles. And this is one of them. Uh, 5.4 Chocolate Stout. It says brewed with cocoa powder. Mm, sure, sure. Instead of the cocoa needs. Yeah. Mm. So. It smells cocoa-y. Mm. All right. I'm expecting super dark. Super dark. Super dark. I'm pouring a monster head because I want to smell this beer. Right. Now. It has a nice little cascade. Probably going to pour Carissa some extra because every now and then I have her do some IPAs and stuff that she knows she's not going to like. So she does like stout, so maybe she'll like this one. I can smell the chocolate over here. I can too. Mm. Mm. Man, it it pours a great wow. head. Now, I do have quite a bit more in here because I tried to pour the head. So Yeah. Um, yeah it was yummy. It's got, it's got a good head. Got a good head on your shoulder. I do smell chocolate. Mm -hmm. I do smell that kind of sweetness that should come from a nice stout to smell that roasted. Um, so let's see. Yeah, that is a thick That's head. That is a thick head. Look at that. When you can make the head like just raise, <laughs> lunk over. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And I think they have more than one little house brand name, but Boatswain. I wound up with like four or five that had the Boatswain Boat name. Yeah. So. All right, get in there. You're my stout, my stout aficionado. She's kind of rough on stouts, though, sometimes. Mm. That's a good sign. I was a little worried, but that's pretty good. Okay. Well, that's very mellow. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be a, a, more bitter than it is. Or but... like a dry stout. Yeah. Hmm. That's not bad. The chocolate's really mild instead uh, of like super sweet. Yeah. It's more stout flavor with mm. an edge of... Of chocolate. Chocolate instead of chocolate flavored with an edge of stout. Ooh, that makes that makes me happier. Um, it's got kind of a little sharp aftertaste, but not horrible. Let's see, our chocolate stout has aromas and flavors of dark chocolate. I, I got that. It's mm -hmm. not like a milk chocolate. So. Right. Which roasted was my malt. First worry. I got the roasted, roasted malt. I'm a little scared. Yeah. Tangy hot bitterness. So that scared me. I don't have. I don't. I don't ah. get a little. I don't get hot bitterness from it. There's a little bitter on the back end, but it doesn't taste like hot bitter. It tastes more like a dark chocolate bitter. I mean, may, I don't know. Maybe if you let it just sit and. It, it to me's got more like that kind of. Irish dry stout thing going yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, it's more of a dryness kind of. It's more like kind of like a Guinness with a little bit of chocolate. Yeah, I don't really which I can drink the hot stuff about, about it, which I am mad at it. Well, I think it's maybe they're saying it's I don't know. It's not sweet like a milk stout. Mm -mm. Which although I'm I'm a big milk stout fan. Let's go ahead and put that out there. Oh, I am a huge um, milk stout fan. Milk stouts are like really good. Two thumbs up. <laughs> um that's way smoother than I thought it was going to be. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm okay. From the description, that is way smoother than I thought it was going to be, and I'm not mad about that at all. I'm okay with this. Mm. I was worried that it was going to be way more bitter than it is. Because uh, a lot of your dark chocolate ones tend to be more bitter yeah. than your milk, milk, milky, milk stout, milk chocolate. Yeah. I've seen a lot of the cocoa nib ones that tend to be... Oh, some of those are really like, sharp. Yeah. This one says with cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. Maybe that's the difference. I don't know. 
not upset. I'm not mad at this at all. You know, this is... It has an aftertaste, but it doesn't linger forever. And it's, it's not, not really a bad aftertaste. It's, it's not it's a bad, meh yeah, aftertaste. It's, it's not as... I was expecting it to be really sharp. Well, the way it's said down here, the like they didn't tangy, they hot didn't, bitterness. Yeah, they didn't describe it well. They just didn't describe uh, it I don't it really well. think so. I don't, I don't, th I don't, I don't think. And, and I'm not, I mean, I'm not mad at the fact that it actually is better than they described it. So, um, but if I had just gone by the description, I might not have bought it. If I'd have been the one buying it. But. That would have scared me off, I think. It says IBUs. What is that? Is that 66? It's a little off. I think that says 66. Uh, where's the flashlight? I don't know. Got moved. How did that happen? I don't know. Well, IBU 66, I think it tastes a little less than 66. I have 66. The registration's off a little bit. So it says IBU 66, original gravity 14.26, appearance black. Uh, I don't want to call it black. I go it dark brown. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty dark. Um,. Rhinelander Brewing Company, Monroe, Wisconsin. Okay. Well, I'm going to start a Trader Joe's playlist, so this will be in the playlist. Mm -hmm. um, overall, I'm pretty pleased with I'm it. I'm not mad at this one. Well, if you guys have been enjoying the video thus far, uh, I'd love it if you hit me with the like. Uh, it lets me know you care, and it helps YouTube with the algorithm. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about this one down in the comments. Mm -hmm. Is there a Trader Joe's beer that you think I really need to review? I've got a couple. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll be turning a couple of these out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I went and grabbed a, a couple of mixed sixes. Um, you know. I like that they do that. Yeah, I do. Because I'm like Aldi. I mean, Aldi's doesn't do yeah. that. So, yeah, but I Trader like Joe's that. is a completely different right. animal. Um, now, if you are a subscriber, that'd be awesome. I'd love to have some more subscribers. And if you ring that bell, you will get three videos a week. So I'll see if I can find, I don't know how hard it's going to be to find anything about this beer, mm -hmm. but I'll put whatever I can find down in your description. You'll also find my various links to social media and merch site, that kind of thing. Now let's get down to it. First and foremost, always the most important. Did you dig it? Mm -hmm. I actually do. Yeah. I thought this was pretty good. Would you have another? I would. I, I would like to have more of these. I would probably buy a six pack. Yeah. Um, you know, in our pick six worthy type thing. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely. A pick six worthy. Yeah. I, I can if you're into stouts and a chocolate stout, right. uh, it's it's six pack worthy because they're Yeah. I hate to say it, but I don't really remember how much I paid for it. Mm -hmm. I bought them like weeks ago. Yeah just haven't had a chance to review them but i probably wouldn't bought as much if it was real expensive so you know i grabbed a couple of six packs um a lot of private label brands aren't terribly expensive yeah they just really aren't they're usually in that like seven dollar six pack mm -hmm. um so it probably wasn't that bad you know a buck of beer a little more than a buck That's of beer bad. i don't really find that bad i don't think it's bad at all so um I mean, I've paid way more for uh -huh. this. Right. Now, um, food pairings. I mean, it's a, it's a chocolate stout. You know, you could have, it's an after dinner drink. Right. Uh, but it's, it's not crazy enough that I wouldn't see this just being like a just drink it drink. I will probably more just drink it like watching TV or something right. than anything. Yeah. Um, my numerical rating, one to ten. Seven. Yeah. I mean, if it was like six dollars six pack, it might be an eight. I'll have to check. It's a but right now, if I'm seven, rating well, it right well now, well today, average. seven. Yeah, well above average. I'm pleased. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then you have it, folks. Till your next beer adventure. Cheers.